Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Ronsley here. The sun's just shining in on me after a rainstorm. It's Friday the 5th of June and it's the Ronsley Roundup. And today's really important message for all parents of children in reception, year one and year six. Because from Monday the 15th of June, we are going to start opening up for all those children in those year groups so it's really important this next message that you listen and please do what I ask please. so later today a text message is going to those parents in reception year one and year six and we're going to ask you to complete a Google form we need to know what your intention is about whether you wish your children to return to school after the 15th of June if your children are in reception year one year six we are not putting a judgment there whether you need to or not we want to know do you require or do you wish your child to come back to give you a little bit of context and to help you make your informed decision I want to tell you how we are going to actually um, do this and we've done lots and lots of risk assessments we've done lots of planning we've walked the walk we've thought about every little thing that will make our building and our practices and your children safe as well as our staff we all need to be safe so how can we open our school ensure social distancing ensure high quality hygiene ensure that we minimize the risk of covid19 completely for everybody who works here that's very important so in order to do that we have made the decisions that all our children returning will return for half a day only each day and principally that will mean that if your child is in blue class in reception year one and year six and half of yellow class in year six then we will be offering a 9 till 11 30 morning session where we will be concentrating on reading writing maths phonics grammar punctuation and spelling those core elements of school and then we are hoping to continue doing home learning for our topic and adventurous things that they can do at home. If your child is in green class and the other half of yellow in year six, then we will be offering afternoon sessions from one o'clock till 3.30 every day. And that will be a repeat of the morning sessions. There are lots of questions you'll have. Every child will have their own desk apart from reception where they will sit socially distanced on the carpet and have some basic provision but it can only be things that are washable so that we can make sure everything's sterilized and washed between every session your child's bubble and that's what we're going to call them will be six children in reception ten children for year one in a bubble ten children in year six for a bubble and they will have a designated member of staff teaching staff it won't necessarily be your child's ordinary teacher but it will be a teacher who knows your child either they've taught them before or they're going to be receiving or will be uh, forming a relationship with your child it's the only way we can do it we'll be using every single room in school and they will be isolated bubbles that are thoroughly sanitized between the morning session children leaving at 11 30 and the afternoon session arriving for one o'clock an hour and a half window to completely sanitize those rooms and get them prepared there's going to be lots of different practices it is not normal we will be the same people, we will have the same warm, friendly demeanour as we always will. However, we will be having to enforce two metre social distancing and that also goes for parents. So when we come to give you the full details about the return, 
we will be telling you about where you come to which entrances we use where you'll come when you come in and how you how we move around the site because it will be different than it is ordinarily we have to all this is about minimizing that risk and making sure we can keep everybody as safe as they can be that's really important we want everybody to get through this and just be back to normal as soon as we can in the future so reception year one and year six parents please complete the google form that will be coming by text and tell us whether you are sending your child back or not and it will be it's a slightly more complex form than the last one i asked you to do because we need your children's names we need to know whether you've got other children in other year groups whether um, in school so we know where they are and we also need to know about children in other year groups whose parents need to go back to work so where two or both parents are having to return to work and childcare then becomes a major issue we would like to hear from you because we do have our child care key worker and vulnerable children child care that's been all the time since we locked down and that's been very successful we've been really pleased with that however we are aware that you may have children in year three and in year four and you've got to go back to work full time as a family and who's going to look after those children the schools aren't opening for them yet however we want to know about that because if you're both having to go back to work if the whole family are and there is no one for childcare, then we need to know and we will try and help you as best we can to give you full day childcare. as i've said the return classes are half days so those children who are currently in child care those parents have to make that decision do they continue with their children in that bubble for the full day or do they bring them back into classes well the children in childcare will still be doing the same learning in little groups in childcare as the other children are in their classes so they're not missing out in any way shape or form very busy week doing that we have really really thought about every single scenario but in the midst of that of course we're still getting great home learning in and the home learning has been coming in beautifully apart from one or two classes and i'm going to call out six blue we've only had mari ascending work in six blue bottom of the list bottom how's that come on six blue get your act together you're year six you're going to secondary school come on get on with it so now i'm going to do the learning superstars have a wonderful weekend everybody and fill out those forms i need them back i cannot open this school if we don't know who's coming take care everyone lots more information next week about school reopening lots more of what will it look like how do we do etc keep watching the newbie youtube and the youtube because there's great videos and newbie news will be coming out onto the website social media please leave, read it please familiarize yourself with everything that's going on and take care have a lovely weekend I hope it don't rain too much bye bye our learning superstar in nursery morning this week is abiha dar oh she's been such a busy girl well done abiha and i know mummy is really working hard with you well done in nursery afternoon is medina shafiq she has made a stunning rainbow creation and decorated it with the characters from frozen mrs doran is so proud keep it up in reception blue class this week harris khan and he's been working really hard on his number formation to 20. fabulous in reception green Sadia Hassan and she's tried really hard with her writing particularly her work on the Big Ben our oh, one blue Sabi Shah he's been writing lots of wonderful sentences at home super use of vocabulary Sabi and in one green 
Zayn Olabedin, having a fantastic attitude towards home learning. I love it, Zayn. Well done. So does Miss Love. And in two blue, it's Sahand Rahim for his great Jack and the Bean store writing. And in two green, Hasiba Asan, and she has done fabulous writing for her Eiffel Tower work. Oh, Azera fan in three green is our learning superstar for fun. Fantastic work at home. Well done, Mum, and well done, Azair. Wonderful. And in three blue, it's Amelia Khan. And Amelia has done some great investigative questioning this week in childcare because some buns were stolen. She really did some good measuring. In four blue, has to be Alfie Pedley. Now, Alfie, wow. The work you've sent in this week, and we have looked and looked at fabulous writing, fabulous work, well done, brilliant. In four green, Freya Shafar. She's been making wonderful European flag bunting and decorating her bedroom with it. Brilliant, Freya. Phoebe. Chinweba in five blue, fabulous direct work on direct speech, fabulous, well done Phoebe. And Nawal, she's a learning superstar in five green, Nawal, excellent research skills and beauty pre presented PowerPoint about myths, fabulous work. Now, six blue, sadly, Miss Mia said, that she could only have given the learning superstar to Medea. So she's had to choose someone from another class. So she chose Heather Alley for his exceptional GPS work and a well composed story with varied punctuation. Well done, Heather. Six Green, Mohammed Hasnain. Apparently he's persevered incredibly this week when tackling his maths work. And in six yellow, Gadir Al Shabib. Fabulous Gadir for completing lots of really tra tricky maths work. Well done. And our parent of the week this week is Tara Marsh, Alfie's mum. Because Tara, what amazing support you've given Alfie this week. That work is incredible and it's all down to your help too. That is brilliant. Thank you, Tara. Fabulous. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and we'll see you next week.